this arrow here is the same arrow as this one here. It's pretty much the same level, right? So it hasn't created a new low. Do you know what's interesting? This is my statistics for my trading account, which I trade on my YouTube video. So I started this probably nine months ago. Look at this, okay? USD CAD, I've took 178 trades and I haven't lost any of them. I've had 100% for the past nine months on USD CAD. And look at your USD as well. 79 trades, 100% win ratio. I've only just noticed this. Look, I've took 248 trades on gold and averaged around a 96% win ratio. My worst currency pair to trade is USD JPY. I actually don't like trading JPY pairs uh, or yen pairs. Um, just because it's too volatile, I just don't like it. And, it, and that is the reason, because it gives me an 87% win ratio. But every other currency pair, um, I'm in the 95s, 96. I don't know what this one is, other. What's other? I wonder what other is. Whatever other is, I've averaged a 98% win ratio. Um, I've took 81 trades on that. So that's probably maybe indices. I ain't, I'm not really quite sure. But yeah, I mean, literally, since I started this account, I've took 730 trades and I've averaged a 97% win ratio. 22 losing trades. Where's, what's interesting is... Uh, okay, even though I love trading gold, gold, I've had the most amount of losses. Nine trades, nine losing trades on gold. But in fairness, I've also took the most, 248 trades. Uh, so maybe next week I need to start trading USD CAD or Euro USD. Um, but yeah, I'm going to quickly explain to you how I do this because it's actually very simple. But before that, I want to explain where I've been for the past two weeks. So as you know, I haven't made any YouTube videos in a couple of weeks. And there's a very good uh, story for this. Let me explain to you. This is fascinating. So I sold my property uh, two weeks ago on Friday, uh, we, I sold my house and I plan to move into a rental accommodation for a couple of weeks while me and my partner completed on a new house together. Now what would happen as soon as I sold my property and it comes to moving out of it? I catch COVID. So the rental accommodation I was supposed to stay at for the first couple of weeks until I completed on a house with my partner, they wouldn't let me there. My girlfriend partner wouldn't let me at her house because she had her parents there, which were vulnerable. So I was homeless. I sold my property. I couldn't go into my rental accommodation. All of my clothes, trading computer, uh, office stuff, food had gone to the rental accommodation. I couldn't go there. I couldn't go to my partner's. I was homeless. I was literally living out of a suitcase. I had to crash at my friend's house. And yeah, it was just crazy. Like it, it literally all happened at once. Like the one time I didn't particularly want to catch COVID, I did. And it was terrible. Uh, fingers crossed. I mean, like luckily uh, it wasn't serious. I had to self-isolate my partner at my friend's house. But do you know what I did? Obviously, when you're self-isolating and you've got a lot of time to yourself, I absolutely smashed my trading. Uh, I'm going to go over that probably in another video. I ended up borrowing my friend's computer because I couldn't get to mine because it was in a rental accommodation. Um, and I loaded up the BioShoyer. I didn't have the MACD. I, I actually didn't really have a lot and I absolutely smashed it. I, I want to go over that uh, in another video. But yeah. Let me explain to you now how I let me make myself a little bit smaller. Let me explain to you how I get such a high win ratio trading gold currency pairs with the buy and destroy. Now, this is actually very, very simple because a lot of traders try to try to overcomplicate their trading. Right. What I'm going to show you is basic trend trading, pullbacks and support and resistance. That is it. And not a lot of people, even though that is very basic trading, I can guarantee 99% of the people that are watching this video will not fully understand what I'm about to show you. Even though it's so basic and it's so simple and you can see it on the charts, you don't fully understand it. Let me explain to you what I mean, okay? So 
what we've basically got here is we've got a moving average. We've got an uptrend, okay? When price is below the moving average, it's a downtrend, okay? So when price is above the moving average, what is it? Uptrend, okay? When price is below the moving average, what is it? Downtrend, okay? Couldn't be any more simpler. If it's above it, it's an uptrend. If it's below it, it's a downtrend, okay? Now let's start marking up all the support and resistance areas on this. Okay, and this is exactly how I trade when I'm trading the binary destroyer. Okay, because a lot of people draw support and resistance and they draw these kind of lines on their charts and they have this idea that, you know, price is going to come to the line and bounce off it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. And when it doesn't work, you sit there and go, what have I done wrong? I've drawn my support and resistance. I've waited for a Mogwai arrow. I've waited for the MACD or the RSI to go overbought or sold. And one time it works, the next time I do the exact same and it doesn't work. This is why, okay? This is just basic, basic support and resistance. And I promise you right now, if you learn this, you'll be successful without a shadow of a doubt, okay? But a lot of people don't understand this concept. You know, they just go, oh, support and resistance, it's beginner's stuff. They go and learn something more complicated, and lo and behold, they get confused and end up going around in circles, okay? So as you can see here, let me just bring up my chart so we can see. Uh, we can see. Okay, so f make this a different color. There, there we go. So as you can see here, Keep it simple, uptrend because we're above the moving average, right? What happens when we become below the moving average? It's a downtrend. So because it's a downtrend and I want to trade with the trend, I'm looking for sells. Now I'm not just going to take any sells. I'm looking for I'm looking for resistance areas because, like I said, I'm waiting for price to come up to resistance, drop, pocket for the money, pull back, bounce off a of resistance, take a trade, drop like that. Okay, so. So break and retest all the way down. Watch this, okay? So this is, like I said, this is a downtrend. I'm looking for sales. Price comes up to resistance area, comes down, creates a new low. How do I know that's a new low? It's because, look, okay, that's a low. This one's a lower low, okay? This one is a lower high. This one's a lower high. So if I just draw all of these dots like this here, we create a low, we pull back. We create a lower low, we pull back. And what do we pull back to? Oh, this resistance area. I take a sell, okay? And again, if I just get rid of that one there, we create a new low. So notice how this new low is now lower than this one, okay? And how this high here is lower than this one. So we're still in a downtrend, okay? Like I said, just basic low and highs, high and lows, break and retest, support and resistance, okay? It, it's staring at you right in the face, okay? And then what happens? We come back up, we bounce off this resistance area here, as you can see here, and we drop again. As we carry on going lower, we create a new low. So again, we've got our low, we've got our low, we've got a new low, and now we've got a newer low, okay? And then what happens? We pull back to this resistance area here, just there. And guess what? We pull straight back to that resistance. We create a new lower high. And again, we sell into a downtrend. That, honestly, as simple as it sounds, that is all you need, right? A lot of people try and overcomplicate it. Now, let's look at the same example now with an uptrend, okay? So look, we carry on going down. We carry on going down. There's no resistance here, right? Price hasn't pulled back. There's no, like I said, there's no resistance here, so we wouldn't take that one. Okay, look, we start to go into an uptrend. So what am I looking for? Buys. I'm looking for price to now come down to a support line. Okay, so let's first of all mark the first support line. Oh, there's one here. Look at that one, okay? So if you look at this one here, again, we've probably got this one here as well. Okay, so as we break this, uh, as we break this moving average, we create a new high. Then we pull back, and guess what do we pull back to? This support line here. We then break that one, and guess what? We create a new high. So again, we've got a new high here. This was the previous high. This was the previous high there. And again, we're creating higher lows there and there. And again, we pull straight back down to this support line. You can see the previous support and we rock it up. Th that is it, right? Now watch this. I bet you any money, we keep going up, we keep going up, we keep going up, okay? We start to go sideways. So we don't want to trade when it's like this because price is going sideways, right? 
Price is going sideways. We need a clear identification. Okay, so here we go. We start to go down. Okay, we're below the moving average. And look what happens here. Again, we've got another nice little break and retouch to the downside. So again, we've got our first low here. We pull back to this support line here. Price drops. See that? Right. And then again, I guarantee we're going to start to come down. Here we go here. And then again, we've got our new one just here. So again, price comes down. It creates a new low because remember, the previous low was just here. Okay, we've now created a new low. We pull back and create a new high. And what do we pull straight back to? This area of support just here. Okay, so just there. See how it price drops? That is it. Okay, that is it. Now, we wouldn't take this one here. You're probably thinking, hang on here, Jamie. Why are we not taking this one here? Why are we not taking this sell just here. And the reason why we wouldn't take that sell just there is because we mark up the next area of support, which is here, just there, right? And yes, you might have been able to sell just here. See how this nice little break and retouch? You would have sold it down here. But what do you think happened after this move here? It broke it. Okay, it broke structure. So this is no longer going into a downtrend. It's now going into an uptrend, if, if that makes sense. Okay, we're not going like this. Trend down, pull back, trend down, pull back, trend down. What we're actually doing here at this scenario here is breaking previous structure, right? So this tells me now we're going to go into an uptrend. And I bet you any money, what happens? We continue into an uptrend. And again, we've got this nice little break and retest to the upside just here. Look at this, right? Look at this nice little structure here. Price breaks it. Price pulls back. Price rockets up. Now, on the one hour charts, this move doesn't look like a big move, does it? But when you start to go down to, let's say, the five minute time frame and actually see that support line. OK, where is it? Uh, here we go here. OK, it's a big difference. That move there. Off this support line is around a 35 pip move to the upside. Off the five minute charts, it's a nice little clean example. We didn't get much drawdown. That is it. That is exactly how I trade the buy and short. It's just basic structure, support and resistance, trends and pullbacks. That is all we need. Let me show you some examples now with the buy and short. So let's look at UAUSD. Okay, so UAUSD, right? Let's go over exactly what I was showing you. Okay, so first of all, we've got our resistance at the top. Okay, so I can see that there because price has bounced off it quite a number of times. We've got our support line just here. You can see how price has bounced off it quite a number of times. You can see here. Okay, um, just like this. Bounce, 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 bounce. We've got resistance at the top. Well, okay. Well, I'm going to take this signal because that's a clearly a bounce off of resistance. I can see that. So we take that trade down. Now, your next question is, Jamie, am I going to take this signal here? Well, no, I'm not going to take that signal because I know this one's against the trend, right? If I take this signal here, it's against the trend. I know that because it's broken the support line, which is there. Now, I could take this one and maybe get a few pips out of it, but I know it's a risky trade. So I trade that with caution. And then what happens? Price comes back up to this resistance area. Well, you know, and I know what I've just showed you. This is a perfect example of a break of structure. We've pulled down now. Uh, we've trended down. We've pulled back to this resistance. You know, I know, everybody else knows. What do you think the next move is going to be like this? It's a downtrend by looking at the bands, right? Of course, it's a move down. Instantly, we get a few pips out of it. As you'll notice, I've got no RSI on my charts. I've got no MACD and RSI. I've just basically got some arrows and basic support and resistance and structure. That is, is how you get good at trading, right? It's basic trading. And it's trading like this that so many beginners kind of forget right? They just, they watch a few videos. They go, well, I know how to draw support and resistance. I know what a trend and pullback is. They go off and learn something more complicated. They confuse themselves. They don't enjoy their trading. They start losing money and they get frustrated and they're like, oh, and I'm like, just keep it simple. Let me show you another example. Uh, USD CAD. Okay. Look at USD CAD, right? I took this trade earlier today. You can't actually see this. Uh, you might. Oh, no, no, I can't. I've got a different account. Okay, so 
again, right, let's, let's keep it simple. We've got a resistance area at the top there, right? Okay, so that's one, that one's marked up like that one there. And I'm just going to mark up this area just here, okay? So if we just look left here, right? Okay, I'm um, again just, you know, we, I'll just, I'll take it across even further like this here, right? And you'll start to understand, right? Just, just focus on what I've just showed you. Okay, so we've had an uptrend. I can see that by the fact the bands are facing up, okay? For some unknown reason, we've bounced off this resistance area at the top just there. And I'm sure if I go over to maybe the daily time frame, I'll be able to see that resistance at the top. So let's have a look. Okay, well, there it is there. There you go. There's that, that, that point there, right? So on the daily, we've got this resistance area. One touch, two touch, which explains this area on the one hour just there so there you go there that's that winner just there right then what happened is price then came all the way back down to this support line at the bottom just here if i just uh as you can see here this support line so i would have took this arrow as well okay and i would have gone this could be a really good trade with the trend because looking at the direction of the bands it's up you take the trade all the way up like this here Right, and then what happened, we failed off just here. So as you can see, we created, we didn't quite come back up to this resistance area before starting to turn. So this, for me, tells me that, okay, we've just popped our first low in the market. So see how we got this high here, and we've come down, and it looks like we've created our first low, right? But I took this trade with the trend thinking, okay, it's with the trend. Then we came all the way back up like this here, and we've created a low. This one is lower than this arrow. See how it, you can't see that arrow. Let me just, here we go here. Okay, see how this arrow here is lower than that one, right? What I see this right now, I'm looking at all the previous arrows, right? So look at this arrow just here. This one is lower than that one, and this one is lower than this one, right? So I'm thinking the, the same thing you're thinking, downtrend. So I sold here and literally straight into profit. Now we've got this one just here, right? Is this move an uptrend or a downtrend? Okay, well, let's look at the arrows, right? Well, this arrow is, hold on, this arrow here is the same arrow as this one here. It's pretty much the same level, right? So it hasn't created a new low right? It's not a downtrend currently, right? Yes, we've created one just here. And yes, we've created a lower high just there, but we haven't gone any lower. So to me right now, if we start to close above this TCA line, I will take the trade up, right? We could come straight back up to there. This, what I'm showing you is just basic structure, right? Whatever you're trading, if you're trading price action, you're trading a binary Joya, you're trading another indicator, look at the arrows find reason on why they could win right you know as i can see here i'm looking at the direction of the binary shoya it's going sideways the bands are going sideways okay we've popped a signal why is this signal going to win is it a higher high is it a lower high let's look at the bigger time frame let's look at the daily l let's try and find reasons why this signal would win uh, and pretty much that is it. You know, that right there is what I'm showing you is experience, right? It's just basic support and resistance, candlesticks. It's nothing fancy. Everybody teaches it. It's simple trading. Um, and yeah, that's basically me. That's how I trade the buy and and that's how I do so well. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. My name is Jamie Palmer. If you have any questions, drop me an email, thebinaryassure at gmail.com.